Hello everyone, my name is Jake Jonas and I am the host of the Take Two podcast, which is another film and filmmaking podcast. But this time it's different because I'm hosting it and that already means it's going to be better. So hopefully you enjoy the podcast. If you're watching the podcast on YouTube, we're also live on Spotify at the Take Two Podcast. As well as this, if you're listening to it, the audio version on Spotify, we are live on YouTube for the visual episode as well. I hope you enjoy this week's episode. I'll see you in there. Hello everyone, welcome back to this week's episode of the Take Two Podcast. Today, I'm once again joined with my two oldest friends, Ellis... Nice, yeah. <laughs> cheers, cheers for that, mate. And then, uh, <laughs> cheers for the the, the big reveal. Uh, and uh, and Harry. Hi, great to be back. Thank, thanks, Harry. See, that's how you do it, Ellis. Um, <laughs> now, nah, Ellis and Harry are both. Yeah, they're yeah, they're Ill. they're they're both ill today, so they you know they're doing me a favour here. But um, don't worry, we, we won't be here for too long. Hopefully not. Fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, today we are talking about Thunder and Raindrop Two, the sequel to the highly acclaimed Thunder Raindrop, the short film that was released three years ago when we were in our first year of college. No, second, oh, year, of second, yeah, second, second year of college. Second year of college. And uh, yeah, I just kind of decided, I always, it was always in the back of my mind to make a sequel to this one because I felt like there was a lot, we always did leave that little teaser of Alyssa's character coming back to life yeah. thinking, oh, maybe <laughs> one day in the future we would um, make a sequel to this film. I didn't know when. You know, yeah. we went through a whole pandemic. Uh, we all, you know, turned 21. And, uh, uh, yeah, pretty much that's kind of how we came to it. Uh, so, basically, yeah, Thunder Range Up 2. Basically, the premise of the film, my character, Jack Thunder, he's had a massive falling out with Harry's character, Max Raindrop, uh, because Max Raindrop is now with my sister. And I have gone off the rails, and I've, gone to, I've just gone out to live my life of being a loner basically and harry's character has been kicked off the force for accidentally screwing up a police um investigation and ellis's character is back from the dead ellis's character is back from the dead and he is wanting revenge on jack thunder and max raindrop so guys after three years of not touching these characters how did it feel when I first came to you, I remember we were in my little shed outside drinking yeah. gin and gin and tea. Gin and no, gin and tea. G and tea, yeah. Tea, yeah. Um, gin drinking and tea. Gin, gin and tea, yeah. We, we had gin and tea. Um, yeah, drinking our G, G and teas. Uh, how did you feel when I first brought up the, the potential of a sequel? Well, I mean, I think we always spoke about it as well, didn't we? Like, we always said we'd, like, come back to it. It's just, you know, we wanted it to be the right time. And we wanted, you know... We wanted to leave enough space for people wanting more. Because I do get asked quite a lot, when are we going to do the sequel? And I was like, well, look, Jake is kind of, you know, having just a period of just like, he wants, if he's coming back, it's got to be the right time. And I think you executed that with absolute precision. For me, I was, I felt honoured to come back to play Sergeant Bernie because, you know, I feel like I really resonate with the character in terms of like, I constantly am trying to batter the pair of you. So it's like (laughs) whenever I have to tap into like an angry, aggressive fucker, I just think about my past experiences with the pair of you and it just works (laughs) so nicely. (laughs) So the fact that we had three years to sort of experiment a bit more with how much you (laughs) two fuck me off, then that was, it it just contributed to the character so much more. It just makes me laugh as well because I'm always playing the villain. <laughs> it's clearly you are. Of, you are. It's your typecast, mate. Yeah. It's your typecast. Really, yeah. I'm a thug. <laughs> well, it's not so, the yeah. only character. Um, we'll, we'll mention this in a bit, but it's not the only character you play in the yeah, short film. You, you also yeah. play his uh, twin brother, yeah. uh, <laughs> Gus. Gus Verdi. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, we'll get onto that character in a bit. Uh, Harry, what was your first thoughts of a? Uh, the sequel to Thunder Ranger. Oh, uh, well, obviously, I knew it was going to be great fun. We previously filmed Moonshine, Moonshine summer prior, so I had great mm-hmm. memories from that, and I was just excited to jump into my role that I treasured, one of my the roles that I hold closest to my heart. And um, and as Ellis said, it's so easy to play because 
like uh, me as a character, I also uh, really enjoy taking the piss out of you and Ellis as well. So it's like <laughs> we're not having to act. We are just being ourselves. We're just there being ourselves <laughs> yeah. and hating on each other like we want, <laughs> yeah. always wanted to do. Like we've seen all the videos of you guys bullying me in college and yeah. know, we just brought it into the film. Mm. And I just I just think we've made magic. Well, yeah, that's yeah. definitely what I wanted to kind of play on the themes of... Um... Uh, you know, bullying you in college. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> that was kind of the thing when I was writing the script. That was kind of where I wanted to go with it, really. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah no, we're, we're, we're basically just playing like heightened versions of ourselves in, yeah. a, in an aspect. But isn't that just what acting is, really? If you think about it, it's just playing, exactly. you know, adapting yourself to another character. And that's why you're on a film course. <laughs> and that's why I'm on a film course. <laughs> Well, that's why I am the main filmmaker. He's, but, you know. He said it, not me. Well, <laughs> hey, it's fine. My, my acting career will come back from the dead, too. Um, but, yeah, no, mo moving on. So, like, obviously, we started, Super. and I felt like we had to kind of, you know, talk about, like, where all these characters are. We couldn't just, like, drop it back straight back into where we left off, because, obviously, it's a yeah. three-year gap. So, I decided to do, like, a little news update, and uh, we had our good friend Harvey, who was the cinematographer and cameraman from Moonshine, which uh, we did the year prior, as Harry uh, mentioned. Um, yeah. So Harvey, a uh, little backstory on Harvey. Um, yeah, he's one of my, like, I've been friends with him since I was like five years old. And um, yeah, we're still, still friends with him to this day. And obviously us three, we've all worked with Harvey. We all get on with him. And uh, I said, Harvey, mate, do you want to be... I, originally, I said, do you want to have a little cameo in Thunder and Raindrop 2? And he's like, yeah, mate, I'm up for it. But then I realised he is one of my only friends that actually owns a suit. And I thought this would be then the perfect reason oh, to no. cast him as the news reporter. So I thought that that's kind of... <laughs> that was the basically my, you know, cast... That was my, you know, casting uh, eye there. That's ridiculous. Well, well, yeah, but this is the industry that we work in, you know? It's what yeah, you have. It's, it's true, what you can mate. bring to the table. It's what you, it's what uh, you and when present, you're, not what you do. Exactly, mate. And when you have a budget as little as I do, you just kind of have to work with what people already have. Uh, but yeah, you know what? I thought uh, I thought Harvey, because it was his acting debut, he, he said to me, he was like, Jake, I absolutely hate acting. I hate it with passion. Do I have to do it? And I was like, yes, you do. And he did it. And it did take us a good two hours to film that. Uh, I think out of all of the scenes, which we'll mention in a bit of how hard some of them were to film, that one was probably the hardest one and the longest one. So, uh, but yeah, no, Harvey did a good job. So, uh, talking about that new scene, I mean, Ellis, we had the bit with uh, me, you and Lewis filming with the green screen. Uh... <laughs> I was literally about to bring that one up. Oh my God. Yeah, like, so basically the whole idea was I was sending out, I'd like hacked, I'd sent out a message for Jack Thumper and Max Raindrop and it's essentially like, yeah, I'm back and I've got one thing on my mind. None of it was pre-written. We like I just waffled it the whole time. I don't know how many takes we did because there was like <laughs> the amount of times I would I would say something and even Jake would laugh or when Lewis starts saying his line he would just say like that and it just ruined everything. So it was but it would definitely I think it was if not it probably was the hardest scene to film as well as when we were on the cliff and there was loads of people oh. kept walking past us. Like again, it's just like that's why I love doing it because we just waffled all of it like you just literally yeah. said to me you were like right so just send out a message that's all it is and you know just try and make it a bit funny because remember when it's, the, it's the bit and i need your help and then it was like, that, <laughs> like I, I remember i was I, I i was so surprised that you guys held it because i think that was the first take and the only take we had to do i can't uh... remember no, I see. I remember because obviously you, that. To be fair, uh, props to your acting there because I literally just said, "Yeah, roll with it, see what happens. We'll play along with it." And then it's when you did turn to the thing, I just like I just couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> it was so funny. And then I was like, "Yes, let's do that." But the thing is, because <laughs> when we did that, or when you did like turn to the board uh, to show the phone number. <laughs> I just think it took us about another six more takes to get it because then me and, Lu me and Lewis were like behind the camera and obviously Lewis here, um, tried to hold his character as well because yeah, uh, yeah. he's the one asking you questions of the scene. But yeah, no, that <laughs> so was a very tough. hard, 
Very hard scene was, to film, but it was oh, a very funny mate. scene to film as well. Very good. Yeah, and then obviously 100%. another hard scene we had to film was Harry's um, interrogation scene. This one was <laughs> just <for> Harry. <laughs> See, I wasn't there for that. I wasn't there for that, so I don't know how all that went. But I heard yeah, it. no, it was just it was just me and Harry. Disaster. I wanted two different like mug shots that were very different from each other. And obviously, if people don't know of Hasbula, um, he's an absolute shout legend. Out, but uh, shout out Hasbula. Yeah, shout out Hasbula, if, you, if you're watches. listening. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, if, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's a big fan of the podcast. But um, yeah. yeah, no, so then uh, basically it was uh, Hasbula, I just typed in like generic prisoner. <laughs> and then, um, oh, we spent a while doing that scene, didn't we, Harry? I think that was the last scene we filmed for the entire thing, wasn't it? What the last scene was, actually, because I, ha- I was going to do like the whole thing of like setting up a wedding with um, your mm-hmm. character, yeah. Harry. I was going to do a whole thing, but then I just thought, oh, this is just so much effort right now. Mm-hmm. And we were kind of like push. It was like we only had like limited time. And obviously, again, I'll mention this as well as that summer in particular. I always remember the, one of the hard things about this thing was always trying to people available on the same day and yeah. it was just so like that's that was the hardest thing with this short film uh so then i remember the last film we the, or the last shot we did was the bit where i'm at that church harry near your house and Wait, was it's that my, the last shot? i'm pretty sure that was the last shot we filmed because i remember i was like editing it and i was like oh my god i need this shot of what my character's up to and then i'll just play yeah. like a drunken mess inside this yeah. like church near harry's house so and uh <laughs> but no, yeah no it's great <laughs> I, I just remember the hardest scene to film was the uh, was Ellis doing that to me. Well, <laughs> well yeah, that, that was like, we've got to get that, that's a whole different well, thing. Well, though, <laughs> to, I was that actually going to move on to that, that bit because obviously we um we do <laughs> meant we. <laughs> As we've already mentioned um, about Gus Verney, which is uh, Sergeant Verney's twin brother, yeah. which uh, Ellis, you do also play. We were going to try and get another. We were going to yeah. try and get another actor in, but again, it was just like trying to get other people think, to like I come. I was a day. bit greedy there though, because I was like, I was like, no, what would be so funny is I played him as well. And the thing <laughs> is, with you two, you just let me do what I want. Like you didn't sort of just say no. We, we need someone, to, and you just always went, yeah, yeah, we're going to do that. <laughs> it was just like really, what? it was a bit of a shit idea, but it worked so well. Oh no, it definitely worked because I think it did, it just made the character even funnier, and it kind of just plays yeah, on the whole yeah. like low budget kind of short film yeah, that we're kind of like true, playing on. Yeah, yeah, and um, but worked. yeah, so well, one I think uh, going back to when Harry saying one of the last shots we did film was actually the scene with um, Gus and Harry's character was a, uh, demoted to a park <laughs> ranger, and um, we tried to film this scene as the first scene of like yeah. of the shoot. But um, when I watched it, the wind, which I'll also mention yeah. in a bit, was absolutely horrendous. And it was just so bad. Like, I couldn't barely hear anything. It was just <laughs> the whole time. It was awful. But we refilmed it. And I'm so glad we did refilm it because yeah, um, yeah. It's, I, 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 as a, it's just was, so funny. Yeah, like so much better, the retakes that we did. And then the the actual scene itself was so much funnier with like Ellis yeah. kicking away my ball. And then we, <laughs> we just added in this random, this random lip thing and then Ellis chasing me off. And, <laughs> and I just remember watching that back when I was like, when I watched it back recently and I was actually in bits. Like, yeah, that, 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 I'm oh, sorry. It, my favorite, I think my favorite line in that whole thing was, Abbott. <laughs> Abbott. <laughs> was like, yeah. hello Max. This is your ball. The thing with that scene as well is that because it's like one of the first like actual like action or like actual dialogue scenes that you probably see in yeah. the short film, it just sets it up really well. And I won't lie, it was definitely one of my favourite things to edit because it wasn't that hard to like put together the pieces. It was nicely shot, but it was just so funny. I remember, I remember yeah. when I finally edited it, I was just absolutely dying with laughter when you yeah. just go, have it! And it's just so <laughs> And then the stuff when yeah you're like stroking Harry's face. It's, oh, it's just it, it's honestly it's a, it's um, cinema and it's finest really. But um, it's I'd, I'd call it improv masterclass really. To be honest, it's it is, yeah, it was like an improv masterclass really. Yeah. But um, yeah, and then obviously after that scene, we then have uh, when me and Harry's character finally meet up after three years of not seeing each other. And uh, I just want to make a little point on this. Um, Harry, I don't know if you remember the days that we tried to film down at this beach. Uh, it was absolutely catastrophic how painfully annoying getting these shots were. It was like, so like the first day we got there, it was really windy. And really then windy, also yeah. that day, um, Harvey, 
who I'm going to slag off now because Harvey said to me he was going to be my cameraman for this day and I asked him three oh, weeks so. in advance three mm. weeks in advance and he went out the night before and okay. got too too hungover to uh to help me film so then I was kind of like, oh no we don't have a cameraman and then me and Harry came to mine and we were like all right fuck it let's just we can do this we've got this we we're going back to Thunder Ranger One days where it was just me and yeah. Harry and we would set up a tripod and, like, and we would just... If we're being honest with it, like the, the shots in that beach scene are some of the best shots. Some of the best. I was scene. literally about to say that. That's so true. You've, so true. You've got the the first, the drone shot over the shoulder getting the seven sisters. Yeah, when you're walking. So clean. Yeah. Yeah. And then we had like close-ups of like me treading in a puddle, close-ups on the face of me looking mm. around. It was like lots of quick shots flip like going between which i don't yeah. think we'd ever done really in any of the other films which was really clean and like quite professional if we're being honest like yeah. when i was like oh. looking at watching it back i was like that scene was sick so yeah no but like the thing is we also like ran to loads of like difficult things because it was mossy as well and i don't have a very good balance as uh harry <laughs> knows i i have the balance oh, of a boy. one-legged man uh yeah probably worse than a one-legged man actually but i'm just quite so quite bad with my balance and i was slipping all over the place had to keep holding on to harry it was awful but uh um, yeah. that wasn't the hardest thing i think one of the things and this is again uh for people out just there that ever want to make a short film uh make sure that you charge your phone or bring a portable charger oh. and charge her. <laughs> Because, so, I was filming on my iPhone, and I've got the iPhone uh, 12 Pro, which is a really good uh, phone to, like, you know, film stuff with. It's, um, it's so much better than my Canon 700D. I was an idiot, and I forgot to bring a portable charger, and we yeah. were filming for so long, and it was quite a remote location. It, was, it wasn't it was easy to, like, quickly just nip back home, because it was only, you had to, like, walk down this hill, and then whenever you wanted to go back up to the car park, you had to walk back up this hill. And I yeah. just remember, because the sun was setting, me and Harry kind of filmed all the bit of um, the whole, like, reunion, kind of, of me and Harry's character. We filmed all that. It worked well, but then we needed to film the bit where um, it goes on to Lewis's character, where he's, like, trying to snipe at us and we wanted to you know escape on our uh, paddle board and yeah. uh i ran out of battery so that i just remember i'm there because there's no connection as well down by this beach there's no there's no signal whatsoever so i'm there <laughs> sprinting up this hill and i'm like <gasps> I'm trying to get back to my car and get. Oh no, I can do this. And I run. I get my car. I literally get back. My I'm. Um, I literally take a portable charger with me. I then run back down the hill and then um, I get there and then I remember the sun was pretty much set at this point. And me and oh. Harry were like, oh, it's, it's done, it's done. But um, we then went back another day and we got the final bits. But yeah, I think in overall, it took us about three days to shoot that whole little section. And oh. the paddleboard section as well, which we then filmed on another day and was probably the most action shot as well we've ever done which is like us literally in the water with like a tripod just like well yeah going on to that paddleboard scene obviously yeah that was literally me and harry again setting up a tripod um <laughs> thinking how are we going to do this and then we because it was also really windy that day as well and we like got windy, to the sea all that, all that summer was so windy that whole summer was so windy and it was so irritating Shit. to film like the wind was just so irritating and i've got one of those mics that has yeah. like a muzzle on it like Muffler. a dead cat no and and uh, yeah, we had like um, we had that, but that still didn't stop the wind, and it was uh, it was very irritating. But yeah, that that uh, scene with the paddleboard, me and Harry are like kind of like taking your turns while swimming with like my little uh, tripod like uh, gimbal for my phone. Like right, yeah, you go down, and then <laughs> it was like this old manic scene on the paddleboard. But um, I definitely really enjoyed like filming that paddleboard scene. I definitely it was a lot of fun. Uh, obviously, again, we see Gus Gus's character to come back and then it's the whole right you've got one last mission to take down sergeant verney you need to yeah. go to this location but um before we end up having the whole uh bit where we do actually end up meeting your character again uh harry we share the special moment with uh singing our favorite song oh. owl city owl oh. city I just remember, like, I don't even know what it was. You're like, oh, we need a bit in the car. And I was like, Jake, we, we have to play Firefly. We, <laughs> well, we, well, yeah, because, I, well, because, obviously, <laughs> because obviously our characters, they've hated each other for so long. I needed, like, and obviously it's only a short film. It's not like a big full-on feature-length film and where you could grow the whole character, like, getting, you know, back to being best friends again. And I was like, what's the most, like, silly thing that our characters could then become besties again? 
oh, why don't we have a little sing song in the car? And uh, you know what? It, uh, I, yeah, because that, that's me and Harry's favourite song. And uh, well, not our favourite song of all time, but we love singing that uh, song in the car. And then obviously that's when I bring out my my infamous uh, Hawaiian shirt again. And I remember I I wore the, I bought that shirt for a, like a little party that I had um, here in Southend. I bought it in May, and I'm pretty sure I wore that shirt most of the summer, from like parties to this short film to other like events, and it got so like worn down that even the buttons just started to like rip off the shirt. There was like rips nice. everywhere. It was it, it was an Amazon. Don't buy sh- uh, Hawaiian shirts off Amazon, and <laughs> they're they're not the best quality Amazon shirts. But um, yeah, and then obviously we go to the bar scene where Lewis's character undercover well we haven't really mentioned lewis actually obviously ellis you did a lot of the scenes with uh yeah. lewis who um he's one of my friends from east 15 uh how how was it working with lewis yeah it was a laugh it was funny because obviously <laughs> it's always like it wasn't awkward at all because you know you're always going to be like oh i've never really met this kitty before like and we're gonna have to try and like do something which is like really silly but i think just because he was so gassed about how good he knew it could be as well like it was so easy to just like work with like the point where i'm just like i go up to his face and i'm just like so stop fucking up i was like send you back to jail and i was just like what are you crying for what are you crying for it just you could tell it was like he's well up for it like he was just you know he was good fun like he was you know so yeah no i really enjoyed it and also in the yeah. party after as well he's, he's a laugh yeah lewis is a very uh, talented actor but um yeah and also in the scenes i was just about to mention that we're using the bar scene and he like spikes my drink that then obviously leads to you two having yeah. a standoff because my character falls in the pond and harry's character gets kidnapped by well not my character but by me because I could find another actor. There's a running theme. Oh, yeah. I could oh, find yeah, another yeah. actor. So I just had to basically kidnap. I know I think originally I was trying to get Lewis to like kidnap Harry with a mask on. But then because Lewis couldn't do that day, I only had Lewis for one day. And Lewis doesn't live as local as us three, I mean. And so it was kind of like, right, I don't have anyone. Fuck it. Just give it to me. So I just want this monkey yeah. mask. And you can quite I think you probably can very much tell it is me. And there's just <laughs> like a yeah, yeah Tesco's carrier stuff. bag. Yeah. No, I I try to I try to hide it with a hat. I try to hide it with a hat. But, and then uh, obviously that's where you two have your your scene. So how the yeah, hell was do. that? It was quite it was quite a serious uh, quite a serious intense scene. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I remember because you were you were wanting to kind of cut between your kind of story and ours, and like I thought it would be a really good idea. And Ellie, Ellis and I both wanted us to kind of go follow the idea of it being like quite really serious and like yeah, Ellis yeah. really having aggression towards me adding some stage combat in there and all that and, which was like and then it turned out I was in my mum's garage <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so I needed like kind of like I wanted it to kind of be like a mum's garage like you do just live with yeah. like your mum at home I my garage was uh, is too full so shout out to my grandparents who let us use uh, their garage uh, for that scene and it also really worked out because a very funny scene was the one where my character eventually comes to save Harry's character. I have no idea how my character knows where your character does. You know, maybe that's a bit of a plot plot yeah, hole in yeah, my yeah. script. No, but, he just um, captured we... Butch, that was it. Yeah, he just captured Butch. But you know what? We move past that. And, yeah, you know, yeah. I find Harry's character. I come to save him. But um, because uh, my grandparents have a really slow <laughs> door that, like, it's put into the garage... <laughs> This, oh, is, did, did. this is this is my favorite bit in the entire film by far. Like nothing even compares to this moment in the film. <laughs> so basically, what it is, if you haven't seen the film yet, um, is my, Harry's character's tied up in a chair. I'm trying to untie <laughs> car- Harry's character, even though my character has a gun, and I could just easily shoot Ellis's character, and yeah. and it's done. We're we're fine. But um, because of this, uh, I'm there like trying to undo this rope, and Ellis, <laughs> he gets the door locked, and he just stands there with the most manic look on his face. And the door is slowly <laughs> raising up, <laughs> and then Harry's <laughs> and Harry's character's like, "What are you doing? You're like, grabbing my finger." <laughs> Oh, and then it's the, um, line, it's the line where I go like I've got all the time in the world <laughs> just stand yeah. there and it goes on for about a minute and a half <laughs> and then obviously after that is where we then have the challenging point of um, we had uh, so in Harry's park ranger scene we, he has an electric scooter and um, 
<laughs> we also bring back to my uh, my car as well from the first Thunder Raindrop. And when Ellis's character is running away, instead of just doing like the normal car chase scene, even though Ellis's character is on foot, we yeah. thought it would be really funny if uh, we have this scene with me and Harry deciding what to get in the you know, car or electric scooter. And then it, it was then the whole, because again, going back to my balance, me and Harry tried off the fit on top of this on this single person scooter and I'm like holding Harry like by the waist but also trying to balance and like shoot at Ellis's character while you're running away <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> and then it comes to the finale where Ellis's character magically has a detonator he's it's ready to lose saber. it all the lightsaber <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, it's, a, it's a toy lightsaber from yeah. back in the day it's the purple lightsaber actually my favourite light, yeah. favourite colour for yeah, the flick one. You can't beat them. Yeah, we end up shooting Ellis's character. Mate, and... you had... I think that was probably one of the best shots in the film. When the train goes past, and it's like it's like mm. such a big, long shot, and it just goes past, and I'm just laughing like an absolute lunatic. Like, it just worked so yeah. perfectly. It was so good. It, it gives it gives me Heath Ledger Joker vibes. Yeah, mate, I thought that honest. as well. Yeah. Almost on the same <laughs> level, I'd say. What's that? I would say that. I didn't, you know, I would say that as well. Maybe I'm a bit biased because it's my film and my mate. Yeah, but um, yeah. no, bro, definitely gave me uh, those vibes. But no, nah, yeah, we didn't plan the train, obviously. We were basically nice. in a field and it was like a train track and the train came past, but it just, oh, it just looked so much nicer as wonderful. well. And um, yeah, it was perfect mention, timing. Perfect can timing. I just mention quickly, you know, when we did the chase scene, the amount of people that were looking on gobsmacked at what's on, I'm behind you <laughs> And I'm literally holding the camera, and you <laughs> lot are just there. <laughs> You're going so slow, because <laughs> you couldn't go fast because you'd fall off. So it's just like and I'm just chasing it. I'm almost walking, and just going like, like just doing that. And then I remember when I was running, so I wouldn't be having like a really like giving like a really daft run. I was like running like that, and then someone like walking past me. I remember I just looked at it and went. <laughs> <laughs> and I just ran past him and he just looked on like what the fuck is going on that, that moments like that mate just can't just can't forget them, can you? Crazy. <laughs> no, you, can, you, can't, you can't forget those moments. And that's why we do it. Because, I, I mean, I won't lie. I really, you know, it was my most recent short film. Uh, yeah. We, I haven't got any plans to do a new short film, well, with you guys for a while. I mean, hopefully one day we can uh, <laughs> film a new short film. But, um, yeah. yeah, so guys, I'm going to ask you, what are your final thoughts on this film? Well, how does it hold up? How does it compare to all the other ones? Uh, what, what would you give it out of 10? What did we give? What did I give? First one, I think I gave it like a four, didn't I? What, the four? I know Harry gave it an eight. I mean, yeah, you were very oh, yeah. critical with it, actually. Yeah, I was, I was, um, but I fair was. enough, fair enough. If, if, that's, if that's your honest opinion, I, we only want honesty here. I'd give it, I would give it a hearty seven. Oh. I think there were some of the best shots you've ever done in a film. But then I think some of the, like, middle scenes that were just kind of telling the story, like, needed to go mm. a bit quicker. Like when I was watching yeah, it back, okay. there was some where I was like, oh dear, and I actually skipped forward just because I was like, I already know what they say, and then got to the good bits again. So I think wow, some wow. of the best shots and best scenes you've ever filmed, but then <laughs> some of the very red. slow ones. That's, that's, my, that's, my, that's my opinion. That's my opinion. Right, yeah, cool. So we're, uh, we're actually done with this podcast. Then no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> um, no, you know what, mate? I, I, I'll be honest. I d- conversation. <laughs> Oh, Harry suddenly uh, lost. Oh, poor connection, Harry. Oh, um, oh Harry got a <laughs> No, yeah, no. To be honest, I I do agree with you there, mate. I um I think when because it, it was it's the longest short film uh yeah. we've done. It um I do feel I do, again I, like obviously I'm still quite new to the whole. Uh, how long it takes to write a script for like you, it's normally like a page a minute and I think I write about like 16 pages or something crazy like that and yeah. then obviously with that extra stuff as well it ended up originally it was 20 minutes and then I tried yeah, to trim a lot mad. of it down and uh, I think yeah moving forward definitely knowing that like we don't ever like go I think 15 minutes is like the perfect point you want to aim at like you don't want to go any more so I no, I do agree with you there because I, I'm also I also feel the same in terms of some of the middle scenes when watching it it was kind of like oh i know these scenes but i prefer sort of the first scenes and i think the ending's really good i think it was yeah more yeah. just like the middle yeah. scenes ellis what do you um what do you um, give it 
Well, I think like Harry said, I think it was probably the best, the most well put together film. But yeah, just I think the length of it just got the better. The thing is, I feel like we wouldn't be saying this if we had more people at the party for when we premiered it. <laughs> and more people. That than is I know. true. I'm being serious because. I think we were so gassed up about Moonshine because everyone was just laughing their asses off that we were like, well, this is literally just like the best thing in the world like we've ever done. But yeah, I think in terms of the length, it does get a bit lost in the length, but that's because we wanted to just put in so much. So I think that just showed how mm. much we wanted it to just be good. Like, and it was good, but like, I think because we cared for the first one so much, we're like, yeah, we've got to have this, no, no, we've got to have that. There was just a lot going on, but I'd give it like a, I'd say seven and a half, eight. Seven and a half to an eight. That's yeah. uh, I'll take that. I'll take that. Anything above a seven is good for me. But uh, yeah, no. Going back to the view, we did have a little viewing party for the last two films. So um, yeah. the year prior to this, we've mentioned Moonshine, Moonshine. which we're gonna. T- that's gonna be the finale episode um, for this podcast series. But um, uh, but no, Thunder Raindrop two. We- did another viewing party, but loads of people ended up having COVID or had other commitments and just couldn't come. And it definitely showed when we came to showing it because we were, I know us three, we were really looking forward to it the whole summer, like the showing, because the year prior to that, we had everyone around my house in this room and we were showing it the movie and everyone was just laughing their asses off. They were having such a great time. And I won't lie, it was a really great moment. Whereas this one, it was like people were still laughing. It's not like people were dead silent. People were still laughing, but because there wasn't as many people there, and like Harvey wasn't there because he was on holiday, and like he was like a big hype man for the moonshine. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, definitely felt it. And I think that always then kind of just sat with us when it came to like whenever I yeah, watch it, thinking, well, moon moonshine that you know moonshine had a much better reception to yeah. like as a you know people watching it compared to this one. But I've still said people have still said to me that they actually prefer. Thunder Range Up 2 to Moonshine. But yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, again, you know, I'll definitely say it's my second best film I've made, Thunder Range Up 2. Uh, yeah. But my my favourite, which we're going to talk about in a few weeks' time, is Moonshine. Uh, Moonshine. 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 But, anyways, yeah, uh, before we move on to the next topic, uh, make sure to go watch Thunder Range Up 2 on YouTube. It is. I would still say a really good, yeah, piece of filmmaking. That was the word yeah. I was looking for there. Thanks, Alice. So, guys, because it is a sequel uh, yes. to Thunder Raindrop, I'm going to ask you boys, what is your favourite sequel to a movie that's ever been made? Are you okay, first? I'm going to, I'll take the first one on this one. So, 22 jumps. No, I'm joking. So, yeah. I'm going to go for, I would yeah. say, if we're talking about sequel that came out and genuinely was miles better than the first film you've got to go to the dark knight yeah it's it is cinema gold it everything about that film was better than the first one it's probably one of the best superhero films ever made it was just oh it was just gold Uh, eternals eternals tell you what tell you what no, that, then, that's one of the worst film, superhero films I've, I've made. But, uh, I've not watched it. Neither have I. Yeah. Oh, don't, don't watch it, boys. Don't, don't watch it. To. Don't and watch then it. also, if we're talking about like just good, really good sequels, you've got Kill Bill Two. Like Tarantino, or like always makes like a masterpiece, and like I think it definitely stayed on the same level as the first one, and like didn't hinder the story at all, and was like brilliant. Um, and just staying on the topic of sequels, I am very excited for a, a sequel that's coming out this year, which would be the uh, sequel to Into the Spider-Verse, which mm. I think is going to be phenomenal um, when it comes out. And I think that will be one of the best sequels for me when it comes out. Yeah, it's no, really I'm, just... I'm really I'm, I'm really looking forward to the, the new Spider-Verse movie. I, I, I love the first one. So hopefully it can be if as good, if not better than the first one but uh ellis what, what's your favorite of a sequel obviously dark knight is would have been like my first choice but um i'd say spider-man 2 that was such mm-hmm. a good follow-up to the first one both yeah. unbelievable films and the third one was a bit crap or um godfather part two i mean that's like yeah when you're talking about sequels that's probably the first one that comes up in discussion just because of the like, how iconic it was like in just in cinema and i think now the dark knight has taken over that debate but for years the, the godfather part two has been considered one like honestly one of the best films ever made if not the best film ever made and the best sequel ever made um mm. but yeah like me and harry were talking about a few the thing is, it's quite hard to pinpoint it because some of them are can just be a bit crap. I mean, Deadpool 2 was all right. It wasn't as good mm. as the first one, but that's still a good film. Um, and, like, like when, when we're talking, you can hear that, like, 
when it comes to good sequels, it does tend to be superhero films. Because yeah, like yeah. any other film franchise, when it's a sequel, it's always a bit iffy. I mean, can you count ones that are like from books? Because like obviously you've got all of the Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. See, I was uh, going to go with yeah. one of those, but it's like, yeah, because but I, I, you could definitely say that because Two Towers is the yeah. second one, isn't it? Because it's like Harry one? Potter. Like yeah, I Harry much Potter. preferred the second Harry Potter film to yeah. the first. And oh yeah, sorry, talking about sequels, I I love the Bourne films and the yeah, second Bourne saying, film. Uh, I yeah, think is yeah, that's good. a masterclass of filmmaking. Mm. Yeah, no, I agree. Well, I, I had a list, but I won't lie, guys. You've pretty much said every kind of film that was on my list of <laughs> really good. I typed in best sequels I've ever made and it had, gave me a list. Um, but some you did miss. And, I mean, my personal favourite, I would say, is The Dark Knight. I mentioned it a few episodes back. That is one of my favourite. It is my favourite film, actually, ever made. Um, but because you both mentioned that, uh, I'm going to say, and I can't believe none of you have said this, but Toy Story 2. Oh, my, yeah. So oh, it is better than the first one. It is better than the first one. It's got Stinky <laughs> Pete. It's, it, it has yeah. Jesse. Bullseye. Yeah, I'm bullseye. I know, I know, I know. I know. I think as a kid, I definitely preferred the second one. But the first one is, for me, I think probably a better film. But I do <gasps> love the second one. Yeah. See, I, I, I mean... Uh, if we're talking about like, trilogies as well, Toy Story is definitely like oh, one of the best trilogies ever. Yeah, let's be honest. So but like, oh no, I do love the second one. Um, also talking back to animations, Shrek Two. Oh that, yeah. That's a, yeah. Shrek. I mean, Shrek was a very good film, and then Shrek Two, I personally <laughs> think, was even better. It had introduced a lot yeah, of new like characters. Uh, introduced Puss in, uh, Puss in Boots as well, who's then spawned on to have <laughs> yeah. his own film, his own and, franchise. Uh, yeah. Star. He's a megastar now, Pussy yeah, Boots. So, um, yeah. Uh, and Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, see, again. Yeah, I can't believe we Very say good. that one. I know we mentioned about Star Wars. Paddington 2. Have you guys watched Paddington 2? Oh, oh, I've, only seen, Padd- I've only seen the first Paddington. I've only seen the first Paddington. The second one's better. The second one's so good. It's well, I'll make sure I'll make sure to watch the second one. So I'll be honest, I've not watched the second Paddington, but um, I definitely will go give it a go. I definitely will give it a yeah, go. Do that. I think I think we'll wrap it there today, then, guys. Well, uh, thank you very much again for coming on to this week's episode. Uh, no if, you, if if you love having Harry Ellis on, don't worry, they will still be on one more, which is coming out soon. Uh, yeah, look man. out for it. Um, make sure to go follow them on all social medias. I'll make sure to uh, tag them in the posts for this episode yeah, as well on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you're watching this video on YouTube, make sure to go listen to us on Spotify as well. Vice versa, is if you're on Spotify, go watch us on YouTube. Uh, make sure to follow us. Have a great day. Woo!